Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. Okay, so today we gotta remove the air filter from the air box to wash because the other time around we noticed it's a washable k and mm. So how we go about doing it is to remove in total one, two, three, four, and then repeat on the other side eight bolts to take out this cover. Okay, so this is the last screw that we gotta take out. And then you can so you can literally take out the airbox. And there's one more screw here to hold onto the KNN filter, so we've got to take this out. Okay, after we took out the screw, this thing should pop out. Yes, it does. So we keep this filter aside. You need to know where's the front facing and what's the internal. So here is quite straightforward. The one with the brand is outside. And the one without the brand is inside. Uh, you need to know the orientation because later when you wash it, you need to know where to rush the water through. Okay, and uh, we see some engine oil here. Okay, probably we just need to wipe it clean. This is the crank breeder box. So it's normal to see oil here. If let's say your crankcase has too much oil pressure, Basically, the oil will spill here. La. The pressure will come out from here and it will bring a little bit of engine oil. So it's fine if you see oil here. We just generally do a wipe down. So there's two ways you can do about it. First is to put back the cover. Because you really don't want anything to be entering your intake. The other way is to use a masking tape to tip it up. In our case, we will use the second way, we will tape it up. We can also wash this cover. General masking tape is fine, just cover the whole hole so nothing will go in. This part is fine because this is the air intake and then before it goes through the filter and it enters the engine. Then we gotta bring these two items to wash. Okay, we have the cleaning solution. So what you do is found something for as a support. So generally, I will put it upright lah because we want the dirty water to flow down, but not flow through. So just keep it upright, and then we will use the solution spray from top down. You can see it becomes a light grey, sort of. Okay, and then we just let it soak for 10 minutes or so. Okay, while waiting for the filter to dry, you can also try to check your spark plug. So it's easy, this one you just pull out. You will see your plug here. Using this specialized spark plug tool. Put it in. Okay, I think someone painted the spark plug over and then use a spanner to loosen it. It shouldn't be too tight, be able to loosen by hand. Okay, and then you take out your spark plug and inspect the gap. So we can use this filler gauge to measure the gap in between the spark plug. Okay, the specification mentioned that it should be 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. So we have a 0 0.50 and a 0.75 to check the gap. You can see that the 0.5 can clearly clear. And then now we try the 0.7. So this is the 0.75. Okay, it clears also. We will try the 1.0 and see how it works. So the 1.0 doesn't fit in. So after multiple attempts with different combinations, so we found out that the gap between the spark ignition area to the tip is about 0.95. I think that's out of tolerance because I think the spec is 0.7 to 0.9. So I guess we have to change this plug. Okay, so same thing because we removed the plug out. So there's a hole here. So in order to prevent anything from flying back in, we just uh, tape this area up. And then probably we need to go and find a replacement plug. And then we will be back screwing this back in. Okay, so it's almost 10 minutes. So we knock off the chemical before we start draining off. It is not as dirty as I imagine. Okay, so now we bring it to rinse. To rinse it, you need to remember where's the outer part and the inner part. 
So remember the one with the brand here, you see this branding is the outer part and then this is the inner part. Because you want the dirty water to flow out, you put the outer part at the bottom, then you rinse this way. Okay, rinsing it, just uh, general normal water, just rinse it. You don't need high pressure jet or whatsoever because you will damage the foam inside. So just uh, rinse off. Lor. It you should see is a uh, light grey and then all you need to do is hang it up, wait for it to dry before you can oil it. Probably this part will take about a day to dry or overnight. So now the air filter has uh, fully dried up overnight. So this is the outer part where the brand is. So we got the oil from outside to inside. So this is the oil. Let's open up. So just line by line. So we will leave it here a while for it to soak up all the oil and then see if we apply too much it should leak out. So just keep it here and then we're gonna install the new spark plug. So this is the old spark plug and this is the new one. So this is a CPR6. Okay, not sure you can see it from the camera here. Yeah. And then this is the CPR8. The higher the number, generally, it means that it's uh, better in terms of heat resistant or handling heat management. I'm not sure whether you can see it. Okay, just put my finger at the back. You can clearly see that this thing here is uh, longer on the new one. The gap is uh, closer and also this edge here is uh, sharper. This one seems there's a cut chip off or something so we install this new plug and then this one we will just cut so we are back here just uh, open up this and then uh, use your hand to align it you don't need to talk it too hard so it's basically just hand tighten all the way and then we we'll use these special tools to okay and then use your spanner to do a something like a Water turn, okay, and then not forgetting to close the ignition cap back. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, so now we will install back the air filter since more or less is already there. So we first remove this tape that we cover up on the intake. Then we gotta put the air filter back in place. Quite simple, just follow the shape. Just place the boat back to secure the, the air filter to the air box. Okay, make sure it's uh, tight. And then last, we just put on the cover. And then last part, we just put back this uh, air box cover. Boat back the eight screws. And this is the final screw. So all eight of them are in. One, two, three, four, and then the other side four. Pick up the key and then to start it up. Bad, not bad. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video. Bye bye.